Hey there, everyone. It's been a little while since I've recorded a video, <laughs> about a year to be exact. I've um, I've been pretty busy doing world development uh, on my own time for my group and just working a full-time job, and I honestly haven't really thought about recording any videos. But it's always been at the back of my mind. There's a lot of different things I want to show you. I want to show you all the new stuff I've been learning how to do. I've really built upon the combat system since the last time I've actually made a video, and I've learned a lot. And I kind of consider the vi the uh, videos I made last time to be kind of obsolete and kind of a waste of time, if I'm going to be honest. It was really unnecessary with the amount of things I was going through just to set up a gun, for example. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to set up a gun in a lot more efficient way, right? So why don't we just get straight into it? So for starters, I imagine you're here because you want to set up your own custom weapon. So for starters, let's just go straight into um, Tully's combat system here in his prefabs. And let's just grab a weapon that we can kind of reference off. So maybe let's not do the pistol. Let's use the uh, the SMG. Okay. So this one here is a prefab that comes with the package. It will have everything already set up on it, such as the scripts, the barrel audio, you know, mechanism audio, stuff like the firing position, and the model of the weapon. So the important thing you want to do straight off the bat when, you, when it comes to changing this setup here is you can actually just change the weapon model and then change the positions of some stuff and tweak the settings a little bit. You'll understand what I mean in a moment here. So this is personally the technique that I use. So I'm gonna go straight here and just grab a weapon model that I like. So let me see, oh, I went to the wrong one there. We'll go into like this one here. So it's kind of like an SMG. So I'll grab an SMG model. So let's say I want to take, let's say this guy here. I'm going to go ahead and drag and drop it right down into here. As long as it's kind of like under the rotation point. Okay. So sometimes your weapon may do this. This is just kind of how the package is. It's not a big deal. I'll just fix the rotation of it real quick. Just so it's about the same. Okay. Now you kind of want to just eyeball it, but kind of just get pretty level-ish to where the gun like initially is so i'm just going to kind of do this they're actually pretty similar in terms of models so you got this one here now you can either go on ahead and just delete this one or just turn it off i recommend deleting it so there's nothing important here this is just all parts of the weapon doesn't really matter unless you plan on animating it but again this doesn't matter because this is a new mesh so i'm deleting that now we just got this mesh here so here's where the important part comes in and pay attention, all right? So you have a few different things you now need to change to make sure it's set. So this is the firing position. Right now, it's pretty okay, but I would just move this up just a little bit, right? So it's still about where the barrel of the gun would be. That's okay. Next up, we have a few things here. Exact grip. I don't think we want to be holding the weapon down from there. That doesn't really make sense. So we'll grab this. We'll just pull it right about here. Again, eyeball it. It might take some trial and error, but that seems okay. Then we have the spear here. This is like the second grip thing. If I actually just turn this on, well, that's a little too much. Never mind. Uh, just gotta give you an idea. Or even, I could just do this. So this is actually the visualization of where the grip would be. Now this may have issues like colliding with your weapon since it's not set to trigger, but that's a little irrelevant right now. This is not what I'm trying to show you. Um, the second grip thing is something that could be covered in maybe a different video or just helped by people on the server. But assuming you want your uh, second grip to be there, just for reference, I would just put it there. Um, so we did fire position, exact grip in the sphere there. So barrel audio, same thing. We don't want the sound of our gun to be down here. We want it to be at the barrel. Again, this doesn't have to be exact because it's not like something as important as a firing position, but that's pretty okay. Next up, we'll have our mechanism audio. This is the sound you'll hear when you're reloading. So we'll just grab that. So let's say like the discharge spot. Let's just say like, we'll just put like right about here. Kind of like imagine where you're... Um, reloading mechanism would actually be on the weapon. So 
so or just just in general i usually kind of put it on the right side okay so let's see we have our animation here so i'm just going to quickly go ahead and just reset this get an idea of where it's going to appear Not really seeing any animation as a matter of fact. So I'll actually show you how to change that animation so that it's a little more like accurate per se. So we're gonna go into the scripts here. And right down at the bottom, it'll say gunshot particle and shell particle. Shell particle is for like the reload animation. And the gunshot particle is where it kind of well you can imagine from the barrel of the gun. So let's say I want to add in my own particle for shooting. Oh, I'm just going to see if I have anything here. Don't mind all the random stuff in here. This is a world that I have been working on, and it's already out there. It's actually called the uh, Black Roses Training Grounds. It recently got a community lab, so there's actually a lot of people checking it out every day, I see. So maybe you could be one of those people. But aside of that, let's see. I just got to find a particle real quick. I might actually use one of my own guns for reference. It's a little more easier. Um, I'll just try to find it. Got quite a few going on here. Um, yeah, we'll use this one for reference. So I'll go into scripts. I just want to find this guy here. So it's called bullet ejection. Okay. Just wanted to know what it was. Here we go. That's what I'm looking for. So what we're going to do now, back onto here, we're going to go into our scripts again. Always try to drop it from, um, I guess you can have it on here. Actually, yeah, I'm pretty sure you are supposed to have it on there. Sorry, if I'm still a little confused, it's been a little while. Uh, well, let me just get the gunshot thing. That's just a gunshot. I just need the ejection. I think it's right there. So we'll drag and drop this down into here. Right, so you may want to change something sometimes. I'm just going to turn looping off because we don't want that. It's going to play every time the bullet is shot. So you definitely do not want looping on. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete this guy here. Right, so as you can see, I just play a bullet flies out. So we'll just go into the scripts again. And now we need to reference it. So we'll just drag and drop this. Whoa, not this guy. Uh, there we go. We'll drag and drop. Him right into go down a little bit to the shell particle, and it's also the exact same setup for the gunshot particle. So, let's see, yeah, there we go. Um, we'll just use this one for reference, it's a little over the top, but it's okay. So, we'll just pop this into here as well. I'll turn off looping, pretty sure there's also a play on awake. We want to turn that off as well, I'm pretty sure. But I'll test it just to make sure if that's true or not. Because we usually don't want this to play when the world starts. Because that's just going to cause a lag fest for any weapons that are already spawned in. Well, that's a, a repeating one. Okay, we don't want that. We just want a basic one. Yeah, there we go. I accidentally grabbed the wrong one. That's my bad. Pop that back in there. Looping is off. Playing on awake is off. So again, eyeball it. Put it at the barrel here. You can kind of just play it, just get an idea of like, okay, this is what it's going to do every time you shoot. Perfect. Go back into here. Drag and drop. Now we got that. Now you may notice if you're someone who's a little keen that there's something called, you know, reload delay. This is not a part of the system. Normally, this is just my own thing, so you can completely disregard that. Um, you can get rid of things that you don't need. For example, like you don't need the cycle animation and all this stuff. Like this is all unnecessary for your weapon. Again, this is just what was originally on that weapon. So we're not done yet. We still have some things that we can change about this gun. So if we look down here, you may have noticed we have spark. So you can actually just change that to whatever you want. This specific weapon, whenever it hits a player or the trade, it's going to play the spark, you know, object here, like the uh, little particle animation. 
but let's say you want to do something for players, like a blood splatter or something like this, right? We'll go into scripts. This one you don't need to attach to the weapon. This one is probably better off having it in the prefab form. So we'll just scroll down to here. I'm going to put this for player right case mark. So whenever I shoot a player, that will pop out instead. Next up, you have all your different audio things here. So this is kind of situational when it comes to audio. You may want to put in different parts and pieces for it. It's really hard to describe if I'm going to be honest with you. Sometimes it may come out good, sometimes it may come out bad. I sometimes just use the same audio clip multiple times and somehow it just magically works. That's probably not the way you should be doing it, but that's just the way that's been working for me. Just experiment with it. But it's just a simple matter of just like the other things, just grabbing an audio file, like an audio clip, and drag it in to here. Not to be confused with an audio source, which is like your mechanism audio or your barrel audio, right? So this gun is pretty set up right now as far as i know assuming i'm doing everything right um we actually have one more thing that's my bad we have the ammo counter that one we need to set up too so we can't even see it right now it's a little hard to see so here we go i personally like the style of having my ammo counters facing kind of where the handle is just um it's, it's a lot more uh, easier to see when you're aiming, I find. So we'll kind of just do something like this, just kind of eyeball it a little bit. We have our grip right there, so this should be an appropriate distance. Now, you don't want it to be too close to the weapon, otherwise, like it says zero, 0 now, but let's say you have like 100 bolts, like the other zeros might start clipping into the mesh. So we'll just kind of drag it over just a little bit, but not too far. So the ammo counter is set. Rotation point and everything, that's okay. That's just a part of the uh, other script logic there. That's if you're using two-handed grip stuff. And of course, you could just like rename this. So like, I'll just call this SMG. Okay. So we're going to do a quick test to make sure that the um, play on awake thing for the particles is the right call or not. So I'm going to go ahead and start the world. And we're just going to see how this plays out. I did remember an additional thing that is important that I will show you once I'm done with the play test. That's actually the box collider. So this will be kind of determining um, how your gun behaves when it's put into the um, holsters or when you're grabbing the weapon. So it may behave a little funky. So this right here, this behavior, I'm glad this actually happened. So I could explain why, why this took place here. So since I also forgot the box collider, I can't actually grab my weapon. So there's two different issues here. Again, I'm glad this happened because now I can show you how to fix it. So the, the gun going like that, that is an issue with the sphere. So it's, it is directly inside the weapon. It's going to be kind of interfering with it. So if we technically, if we just, let's just say like, we'll put it like right here. I know this is like completely wrong, but I personally don't use these things because they're a little finicky, but I'm just going to put it here. And that technically should solve the issue for that. Now we need to deal with the box collider issue. So it's all the way down there. No wonder I couldn't grab my weapon. This is the area that's going to dictate how your weapon behaves when you grab it or put it in the holster, as I mentioned earlier. So we need to fix that. Typically, and this is good practice in my opinion, you want the collider to be about where the handle is. You could have a bigger, like the entire gun if you want, but I find it's just better to put it on the handle. Again, that's just personal preference, but I also recommend doing is trigger because if it's not, this little section of the weapon may start colliding with terrain, which is a little unideal in certain situations. So now when we're aiming at this part of the weapon, we should be able to pick it up with no issues. And our gun should not be rotated weirdly because of the uh, second hand grip. So let's take a look and see what happens now. Oh, it's still uh, doing that. But we'll have to look into that. But you can see that we can pick up our weapon now, which is great. We just have the rotation issue. So let's do a little bit of debugging. 
and find out why that is happening. So if I had to assume the reason why it's happening, I really think it has something to do with the sphere and perhaps the uh, the look at script that is on the rotation point. Because it's trying to look at this object. And since it's down there, it's kind of being a pain. Again, maybe if we just uncheck this, that might help. But again, this could mess up the, the script and stuff like that. So just, again, to clarify, I don't use this on my weapons. So I'm not experienced with this kind of thing, so I apologize if that's what you came to this video for. This is probably not going to help you very much. Or maybe me going through this and troubleshooting is going to help you. Kind of give you an idea. Maybe. But let's just see what happens. But for the rest of you guys, you've, you've pretty much already reached the end of the video. Because this weapon is essentially working as intended. So I've turned the look at uh, the uh, look at off. So that actually seems to have fixed our issue there. So now we can actually grab our weapon, and you'll see the audio is working as intended. The particles are working as intended. It's just it's fluid. It's great. Uh, yeah. Oh, actually, you might not have noticed this. But when I get a little close to certain angles, I'm getting pushed by my weapon. Now, this is just a silly little problem, okay? This most likely means that my weapon here just has a collider of its own on right now. And it's just colliding with my player. So, be vigilant, pay attention for that kind of thing, because that can happen. This kind of stuff, you know, the smallest things can happen and throw you off, you know? So... I'm just going to go in here, and I'm guarantee you there's going to be a mesh collider on this. Yeah, so we have mesh colliders on all of these different parts here. I'm just going to highlight them, remove them. You usually don't need a collider on your gun, because things like that would happen. Since I was kind of like aiming down, it was like pushing my character around. You don't really want that to happen. Okay, so now this is essentially how you set up your own custom weapon. It's a lot more easier, and I understand the video length is pretty long. But that's just because we were going through some debugging and I wanted to explain it to you in a detailed way, not just go, oh, hey, just do this and this and this. And then you're like, whoa, that was very fast. But how does this work? What does this do? You know, I just wanted to go through some of the extra stuff just in case, you know, you wanted to know about it. So if you have any questions for me, by all means, ask in the uh, comments below. It's been a little while since I've made a video, so... I apologize if I sound weird or I'm just, you know, messing up my words. I'm human, right? This is just how I'm going to be. I'm not going to lie to you or fake my personality. This is just how I am. And I think that's the right way I should be recording videos. But aside of that, I'm going to try and make some more videos for you guys in the future. Just things that go a little more in depth, such as things that uh, I did in my world. Kind of like a uh, manual reload or just kind of like my uh, armory setup. You know, I think that will help people will kind of give themselves an idea of how could they build off this combat system, you know, add in what they want. And I'll just kind of show them how I did it. You know, it'd be great. So thank you for watching this video. You know, if it helped you, just drop a like, you know, share it with some people that you think might need some help. And if you want to go the extra mile, I do have a Patreon. It will be in the description. I also have a Discord support server where if you have any questions about like Udon, world development, avatars, or just questions in general, you can join in there. This will be in the description as well and the pinned comment. Um, you can join in there and I will help you to the best of my ability with any kind of questions and stuff you may have. But that's all I have for you today. Again, thank you for watching my video. Any, you know, likes or comments and things like that are appreciated because, you know, it gets the video out there a little more. And it gives me a little more incentive to make videos like this. Because I don't make anything for doing this. I do this for your sake. But again, that's enough rambling for me. <laughs> Have a good night or day. That is the end of this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.